The verdict is in for the resentencing hearing of Sean Tyson. And as ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates tells us, Judge Roberts made it clear that Sean Tyson's original sentence was correct. Bo Beth. Yes, once again, Sean Tyson left a courtroom with not one, but two life sentences without the possibility of parole. Sean Tyson's two day resentencing hearing wrapped up quickly. Resentencing here, Mr. Tyson, for life in prison. With credit for all time served. Judge Roberts closing the door to what the defense had hoped would be a sentence reduction for Tyson. In 2011, Tyson was convicted in the shooting death of two British tourists. According to reports, James Cooper and James Cazares wandered into the public housing complex where Tyson lived, and then Tyson did the unthinkable. On April 16, 2011, 16-year-old uh, Sean Tyson killed in cold blood two young men absolutely no threat to Mr. Tyson. But a Supreme Court ruling found it cruel and unusual punishment to sentence a juvenile to life in prison without the possibility of parole. The move resulted in many cases like Tyson's getting a new sentencing hearing. But Judge Roberts says after much consideration, he thinks the two consecutive life sentences Tyson originally got was right. Children are different. I can envision many situations in which a life sentence would not be appropriate for a juvenile murder. This is not one of those cases. And with that, Tyson was resentenced to the original sentence of two consecutive life sentences. The defense says they will likely appeal the decision, but in the meantime, the prosecution and the family members of the victims say justice has been served. I think it's a very fair and just and appropriate sentence. The decision today has reaffirmed our belief in the U.S. justice system. As for Tyson, he did not speak in court, but on his way out, he did have a message for his family. Oh, yeah. Very strong, yeah. Now, we also reached out to Tyson's mom, but she was unwilling to talk to us. 